in week eight. The Jets lost the thriller in their first game against the Patriots. Can New England do it again? The answer comes your way next on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Today we've got an interesting Week 11 matchup on tap between the New York Jets and the New England Patriots. Alongside my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Glad to be enjoying another week of football. And Charles, this is a contest that should make a former defender like yourself very happy, that's for sure, because we got a pair of top five defenses in the NFL squaring off. And opportunities to score, well, they figure to be extremely limited. And partner, you know my smile is wide because this is a lot of fun for a guy like me to watch, as you noted. And if there's something else, that we both know that these teams take pride in. It's how well their defense have done to controlling games and putting them in a position to win. Something else they're proud of, though, how high they rank in the league. And they're trying to use this game to move up in those rankings and become the top defense in the league. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. So now the Patriots getting set to take over on offense. And they'll be led out by the NFL's Comeback Player of the Year in 2019, and that's Ryan Tannehill. You're talking about the pause that refreshes. I think it's come at a perfect time of the year for them, hasn't it? You know, they, it's the season is starting to wind down, got a little bit of a break. But how about the guy calling the signals? He's got to be excited about that because now he didn't just get a game plan for one week. He's able to work on it for two weeks. I can't wait to see if they have anything special in, in store for him today. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Tannehill. He's going to find his tight end. That's Hunter Long. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give him 15 yards on that one. And New England has a first down. Jacobs going to try the middle. And he stopped immediately there. Justin Matabike there to bring him down. Here's second and ten. And CD, you look at this defense. You know, what kind of pressure are they under trying to stop a team that has won five games in a row? Well, to me, it makes their job harder because you know you're going up against an offense that's playing at an elite level. And sometimes you can get too caught up in trying to play the perfect game. You're trying to be too precise, too fine, instead of just letting it rip. I think that's more the priority than trying to be absolutely perfect. So roughing the passer, and this is a unit, Charles. They hold their breath every time they see their quarterback go down and get hit like that. Yeah, they understand how important these last couple of months are for this team. They can still afford to have anything happen to him if they want to accomplish their goals. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now Tannehill. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 16. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Second down, Jacobs once more. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. Algier will struggle to get to the line of scrimmage as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Jacobs, the football comes out, Jacobs lost it, and it's scooped up by the Jets. And to the 12, that's where it stops, the return is halted at the 12-yard line. A 
let's face it, everybody at the start of a game has, has a mental image of how they expect it to go, and I think that was going exactly as they scripted it offensively. Moving the ball well, seemingly in control, and that fumble, that's got to be a little bit deflating, don't you think? Yep, foiled the whole plan there, turned the ball over. So here are the Jets now backed up to start their first drive. Bringing him out is the future Hall of Famer, now in his 18th NFL season, Aaron Rodgers. So no advantage in this game for either quarterback in terms of coming off that open week, huh? Yeah, they both had bodies. Both had them, so you got to figure both of them went back, watched some extra tape, polished up their game, checked out their fundamentals. But they also have both had an extra week to prepare for each other's defenses. This could be a whole lot of fun. Here comes Mooney now in the jet sweep. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Preston Smith there on the stop. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Rodgers going to throw. And Waller taking it in over the middle. Nine yards the pickup there, and it's a first down. The Jets at 7-2 here on the year, and they come in off the extended break from the bye. And I think it was much needed as well because you played two, two and a half months. You know you're ready for some time off in order to get prepared for the home stretch. In fact, when they looked at the schedule to start the season, I think they liked where their open week fell. On second down, Elliott once more. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. They go to Elliott again. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Throwing is Rodgers. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover in the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you get them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown in. Oh, look out. You've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. Able to find Waller. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they manage to convert, and that'll keep the drive alive. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. Up the middle. Here's Elliott. Oh, he breaks a tackle, and he's got an alley. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 43 yards rushing so far. And this is just their first possession. And they've got a new set of downs here. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Working from the gun, Rodgers. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open work beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Sliding out of the pocket. He'll get this to Elliott. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. The folks' kick is good. And the Jets hit the board first. It's 3-0. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And you figure this should be a healthy, arrested, a focused unit. And they're working on a good winning streak. They had the week off last week. This is really a team, Charles, that should be in top four. I would agree absolutely with that. What coaches worry, 
And now he lost the football. Tannehill loses it, and it's scooped up by the Jets. And he will take this down to the 10-yard line. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. On the counter, Elliott. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Again, it's Elliott. And he'll get about four there as he takes him from the 10 down to the 6. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Now Rodgers on the bootleg. They'll roll him out right. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. On now is Nick Folk in the field goal unit for the Jets. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Folks' kick is good, and they're able to double their lead in this first half. It's six to nothing. So golden field position there squandered as they can muster only a field goal. Yeah, you were gifted a first to goal situation, but I have to give credit to the defense. They were brought out in a really tough situation, so give them credit for holding them to three. That's a pretty nice accomplishment. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. New England's offense set to go. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round bye and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. He's got long, his tight end complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First and 10, it's Algier. He'll get it across the 35. It'll be second down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Here's Tannehill. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Back to throw, Tannehill. This one to the sideline. He's got it. A nice job to keep the feet in, but he is a bit short here of a first down. And here now the putter, Fox, as he sends this one away. 42 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team, and that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That Garrett. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. And the Patriots are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Boy, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. 
After the interception, here's Tannehill. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now Tannehill connecting with Cup here on the out route. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. To throw is Tannehill. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Tannehill throwing again. And he's got this to Jefferson. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 15-yard line. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. From the red zone now, Tannehill. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Cooper Cup, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Patriots are an extra point away from moving out in front in the final minute of the half. That's why you've got your star out there throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good, we're going there with the football anyway, and there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him, he gets it done. Footing always a concern, but the extra point's up and good, and they take the lead here at 7-6. to six. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. We'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Jets going to take over now late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get in the field goal range. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Throwing again on second down. Rodgers got a man. It's Darren Waller. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. He's going to look deep for more. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Here's Rodgers to throw. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And he's going to have a first down here. They're also in the field goal range at the 28. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. Rodgers now on first down. Looking for the end zone. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. Folks, kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Jets on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Things starting to get interesting in this final weekend before Thanksgiving. So let's see what's going on around the NFL.
will start up at Highmark Stadium, just outside of Buffalo. And it's the Browns who are out on top. George Pickens, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. From there, let's get down to Baltimore to check in on the Ravens at home at MNT Bank Stadium. And they've got the lead in their ball game over the visiting Carolina Panthers. Jimmy Garoppolo has thrown a touchdown pass. Finally, we're off to Atlanta. Check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And that matchup all even in their battle with the Chicago Bears. On now to a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Jets. And even though they've got the lead, they're likely going over ways they can improve the running game as they didn't find a whole lot of success in those first two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. Both these teams getting a chance to dry out, maybe change their cleats if need be. But halftime's just about over. Time to get back to it. And for the call of the second half, here's Brandon God. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And yeah, he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. And the Jets head out on offense here to start this third quarter. now on first down. That pass complete to Moore. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Tim carry now for Elliott. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Throwing now is Rodgers. The left side throw complete to Adams. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 67 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Elliott, and he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. And he will not get what he needed as he stops short of the first down and around the 22. On now is Nick Folk in the field goal unit for the Jets. And this a 39-yard attempt. Folk's kick is good, and that will push the lead up to 12-7. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we kept, kept it within range. The other side said, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though, three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. Here comes the Patriots' offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. 
They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Once again, it's Jacobs. He'll get a yard, that's all, as they get him down at the 28. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operated. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. That he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jet touchdown. Well, Charles, just some visibly frustrated players and coaches on that sideline right now because those halftime adjustments didn't work. The turnover problems continuing here in the second half, and the defense now sitting pretty comfortably as a result of that pick six. Hey, that's a great observation, too, Brandon, because they did make adjustments at halftime. But how about this other group staying a step ahead despite whatever happened in that other locker room? No surprise they're leading, and it's appropriate that those defenders got to add to the lead directly. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. So the Patriots coming out now. Remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Well, these two teams, you might recall, met back in midseason, week eight to be exact. And it was the Patriots who got the win on the road, so they'll look to finish off the sweep here in Foxborough. Open man left side is the tight end long. And yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Here's Jacobs from the gun. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Now Tannehill. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. And he'll be dropped just shy of the 35 at the 34. A pickup of 17 on a play that originated at the 17. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. Now it's Tannehill. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. Looking to throw again on second down. Tannehill. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Well, they certainly aren't letting up today, partner, because they've forced big turnovers already. And it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. Here's Tannehill. And this is going to be incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. McPherson's kick is good. And that cuts into the deficit. It's now 20 to 10. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The New York set to take the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. 
Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever does that. Back now in Foxborough. It's Jet football as they've got the lead here, and we get set to begin quarter number four. And Waller taking it in over the middle. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. The Jets on third down, just one for five to this point. This time it's third and three. Looking deep for Adams. And that's caught inside the 35. A big play there, Rodgers to Adams. 43 yards. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Inside give to Elliott. And he'll manage to pick up about four in second down. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Rodgers going to throw. A dump off to Elliott. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. On the jet sweep, here comes Moore. It's a six yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. to Elliott and the big boys up front they're going to stop him right at the line this will be the eighth play of the drive here third and four they go back to Elliott he's been busy they had a pretty nice tackle there ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short call it a four yard pickup but it leaves him a few inches short here on fourth down Rodgers with a keeper. The decision to go for it pays off, and now they're set up first and goal. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Now Elliott, and he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. This is obviously a critical sequence for this defense if they want to stay in this game. Down two scores already. They give up a touchdown here. That makes things really difficult for their offense moving forward. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And the Patriots have it. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game. So hold on here. Not done in the fourth. New England trying to get to place on offense. They trail by two scores in the fourth, and their defense did its job getting the fumble recovery. And time to see what this offense has left in the tank. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And some space here. They juked him. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. 88 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. A wet track like this, I don't know if it helps anybody, but it probably helps the offensive player running the ball more than the defense. And while they're doing that, there's also the matter of focus. Not letting the elements get in the way of still doing everything you're supposed to do. Although you do think to yourself, I've got to hold it a little bit tighter and be more careful with my footing. He was careful, got a big run out of it. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Four yards remain for second down. Here's Tannehill. He's got long, his tight end complete. And he'll wind up picking up about four as that is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. 
Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. He hit his first, this one from 40 yards out. McPherson's kick is good, and that will tighten this one up a bit. Now a one-score game at 20 to 13. So you knew one way or another that they needed the two scores. They get the easy one out of the way. Now they'll get the ball back, hopefully. Yeah, and the question is, how do you accomplish that? Do you onside kick it? Or since you have all three timeouts, do you kick it deep? To me, I'm playing field position. With all three timeouts, I kick it deep and try and pin them back there. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. New York's offense back out there and set to go. Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done, challenge your ground game, challenge your offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers, anyone who's going to lay down a block, don't let there be penetration because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, life will be good. But if you really want to gamble a little bit, a quick play action, quick throw, might be able to get it done. Just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. So far this season, this is an offense that's proved its ability to move the football. I mean, they're in the top five in the NFL and picking up first downs, and they get the conversion here. And I think a lot of that is due to how they win on first and second down, because that leaves them third and short, third and manageable. A lot easier to pick them up then, isn't it? Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Shotgun again to Elliott. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Ten yards is the pick up there, and that should just about put a bow on this one. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Rodgers will take a knee here, and that should be all she wrote. So it's a victory here for the New York Jets. And I'll tell you what, it has not been with a whole lot of frequency over the last couple of decades or so that teams have come into New England and escaped with a victory, but that's what happened here. It almost doesn't feel real, does it? <laughs> We've seen it so few times. That actually happened, right? We saw it. They came out of there with a win. And on the other side, in that locker room, you know what they're saying? We didn't really lose. Time just ran out on us. That's the <laughs> attitude they have because they don't see it happen very often. Not even sure how to handle it. And you see some stunned faces heading for the exits here in New England. So for the Jets, they continue to put themselves in position for a first round bye as they move to 8-2. and two. And they'll head back home next week to take on the Chicago Bears. Meanwhile, for New England, they come back to the...